Honey, you cannot be up here. You're demanding all this attention, honey. Honey, I'll give you some eggs. So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back into the kitchen. We're gonna run a little experiment today, an experiment. Listen, I know there's a lot of things going on right now. We had a really uh, powerful video posted earlier today. The comments are overwhelming. Uh, since that time, we've had another explosion happen in just the last less than an hour or so uh, in Ohio. So I understand there's a lot going on. But I'm going to go ahead and run through this video because I want to test this. I think this is important for us to all see and understand if this is something we want to do for our pantry with eggs, especially for food storage. So let's get to it and we welcome you back. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I want you to look right here. So back in, is it April? Yes, April 25th, I decided to take a batch of quail eggs, and I water glass them. Yes, we did. Now, we've already done an experiment, as we do, or an, an experiment, and we showed you how our, how, what we think about and how we felt about our water glassed chicken eggs. Turned out great. We didn't have any trouble uh, with uh, the second batch. Now, you know the little one that was sitting right here? We all debated what happened to it. Did it, was it exposed to too much light? Was there a weak shell? Did it just get knocked around a little bit? Well, this little thing, this little cutie has been on my pantry shelf ever since we built this up. It took about two days, okay? And we went through the whole process of putting the lime in it. You can see, see all that built there at the bottom? All right, so this has been sitting in a very quiet, cool, dark, safe space since April, okay, or the end of April. So we're gonna pop them open. We're gonna smell it. We're gonna see what they look like. Are they still edible? Are they good? I don't know. Quail eggs are a lot smaller than chicken eggs. It usually takes three or four quail eggs to equal the size of what you would get out of one good sized chicken egg, okay? So just to kind of give you an idea there, at least three. So I'm gonna try to go through, open up maybe six to eight, depending on what we're finding. We will scramble them. I'm just gonna scramble them and we're gonna see what they look and taste like. Are we scared? No, are we curious? Oh yeah. So we're busy in the kitchen. You're gonna hear a lot of background noise. Dogs are getting fed in the evening and everybody's running around. So here is our, here's the experiment. We've got one bowl to crack the eggs in. We've got the other to mix them in, fork for scrambling them up. We've already got our little dish ready, our little pan ready over here. I'm not gonna do cast iron. I'm just gonna do this one over here. We're gonna put just a little bit of butter in it, okay? If, it, if, they, if they smell okay. And this is the little doodad we're going to use to open the quail eggs. Um, we've already done a video on this before, so we're just going to pop them open with that. And then I've got my little spatula uh, to help scramble them up. Okay, smell test is first. Are you ready? Are we ready? Delonica. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to put this over here. It looks really good. I think it looks really cute, but we're going to open it up. And yes, you can hear my old coon dog, uh, black and tan. She's making some racket. She always barks when she gets fed. She doesn't want anybody down there near her. Okay. 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 Doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell rotten. It smells kind of limey, eggy, but it does not smell rotten. So that's a positive sign. Hmm. Honey, honey, are you wanting to help with the eggs, honey? Honey, what are you doing, honey?
Okay, so our butter is beginning to melt in the little pan. I'm not gonna add anything to this. I'm not gonna add butter to the inside, salt, pepper, milk, heavy cream, nothing inside of these little scrambled eggs. We're just gonna scramble them up in the little bit of butter that is actually inside the little pan. So you can see, woo, kinda, most of the yolks stay pretty well intact. Some of the eggs are actually fertilized. They have bull's eyes. So yes, I could have gone and stuck them in the incubator, but I didn't. We're gonna scramble them up and we're gonna eat them today. So here we are, many months later, what's it gonna be? We're gonna find out. Okay, so while they are starting to heat up in the pan, I just want to show these because I know you're going to ask um, about these little scissors. I will put a link to these in the description below. If, if they're still on Amazon, you can probably get them in other places as well. That's where I got mine. But basically, they're really great because they allow you to basically split the end and open up the quail egg. Quail eggs are very delicate, really. So when you try to crack them open, they tend to split, and then you end up splitting the yolk and all of these things. This allows you to take the end off. Now, I've done it both ways. I've done it the small end and the fat end. Uh, most people prefer the fat end, but I'm telling you right now, both work just fine. So you do what works best for you, but I'll put that down below because I know some of you are going to ask. So if you are raising quail and you eat the quail eggs because they are delicious, this is something very handy dandy to have. Okay. So obviously you can see how quick this is moving here on a low to medium heat. Just going to fluff them up. You know, this is small little baby, baby town here and they're gonna go up real quick. So all I did was put a little bit of butter in the actual pan to help it uh, not stick. And you know, it's gonna give it a little bit of flavor. Look how beautiful and fluffy they are though. Just like with the chicken eggs, the ones that we found out uh, had just done great, um, no issues. Um, they really, really fluffed up. We really didn't have to do a lot. Look here, we're getting there. Are you nervous? It's still steaming. Don't smell like little eggs. I mean, it just smells like little scrambled eggs. All right, let's get a good little bite here. So tomorrow, if I'm in the creek, you all get to come take care of my farm. Because <laughs> Somebody's gonna say, what's she mean by, what's she talking about being out there in the creek? <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, here we go. Tastes like a scrambled egg. A sweet, fluffy, precious little quail egg because I think they're a little bit sweeter than chicken eggs, okay? Goose eggs I think are too, geese, goose, whatever. So here it is, here I go again, headed to the creek. I am so glad, I am so glad I only did five because I can reserve two more dishes for me, because I love quail eggs. They're my favorite. They are my favorite, okay? Um, so here's my quail eggs that were in the water glass. And you saw me take the, this, these little five right there. There's the caps and there's the whole shell all the way down to the scrambled egg version. So we are talking almost 10 months old, pushing a year. No issues whatsoever. So here's the thing. If you've had trouble with maybe chicken eggs in the past, maybe something like this is a better way to go. Here's two lessons in this, okay? Something to think about, which we talked about in the chicken egg water glassing videos. Both of them, I mentioned this. I have found that smaller containers definitely is a much better way to go, okay? Now, clearly you can have an incident any with any jar, anywhere, any place. I've proven that too. But the odds are, here's the thing, if you use a smaller container, which works great for the quail eggs, obviously, because they're small, um, if something goes wrong or something goes bad, you may only lose, you know, obviously this is just a pint jar, as opposed to losing a whole mess, right? You don't wanna lose a whole mess of them, right? So smaller is better, smaller containers. I think that's the truth in the situation. Hi, Miss Sadie, okay, Miss Sadie's gotta go out, y'all. I think that's the same case with chicken eggs too. So we've had great success today. If you have been wondering how quail eggs would do, I don't think you're gonna have any issues. And if you prefer this, definitely something you need to look into trying. I've also done turkey eggs, but we haven't tried them yet. But the quail, 
is a go. All right, guys, we appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you out. I'll attach the other videos in terms of water glassing so that you can figure out what you want to do and how to do it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Like, subscribe, and share. And guys, we will see you on the next video. Let's eat.